Good morning, free game. We are coming to you live, but not live, from London. It's a very wet London again. I'm going to be saying this way too often. We're in our front room. We are having a reset day. A reset day is just a day where we've had a lot going on recently. We just need to get on top of stuff, get on top of washing, get on top of cleaning. And it's a bit of a chill day. It's bank holiday Monday. We're just chilling out. Jojo's just there. He's still dressed up in his onesie. And you're dressed up as a dragon playing a little bit of Minecraft, aren't you? <laughs> Yeah, I'm sure the free game will enjoy that, yes. And yet, the light box has been designed by you again today. I am happy for good. You're very good at these messages, Dragon, aren't you? So yesterday, it's just a bit of a chill out day. Nothing strenuous. Just really having a nice little play, relax. I'm still getting some work done. I work every day, so it's my joy. In fact, it's not really work. But we do have to go out and get a very, very special food haul today. It's a very specific food haul that we've never done before because we're going to be doing a very fun video with this food haul. And Jojo doesn't know anything about this yet, so it's going to be a surprise for him as well. We'll tell him very soon. And Mummy, what are you doing here in the kitchen? I'm making some raw cheese sauce and I'm going to make courgette noodles. And look... That is, a, that, is, that is the result of Sam. That is the result of us being not here for a few days and Sam just dumping all his washing in. It was a mass dump. It's like you don't see him clean his room for weeks and then all of a sudden he accumulates everything of weeks yeah. of clothing and dumps Teenage, it all at once. Yeah, teenagers just like, they don't give you washing every day. Well, no. maybe some teenagers <laughs> do, but my teenagers don't give me washing every day. Every no. now and then they just dump tons of it on me. I think it's the fact that we say give us washing like it is something to be given to us. It's not gift in any way. I did not wake up this morning overjoyed at seeing that. Speaking of teenagers, so Sam is here, he's off work today so he's just having a little bit of gaming, talking to his friends online. Jamie was actually supposed to be here and be involved in today's video and then we're waiting around for her and she was supposed to be back, she stayed at her friends yesterday. We called her up and she went, oh yeah, I'm at Thorpe Park. <laughs> didn't tell us and we're like okay that's fine that's jamie for you though yeah. isn't it she just does, does what she wants sometimes she tells us sometimes she doesn't but she's having fun so that's all that matters i wouldn't mind it i thought park but then again it's raining it's a bit miserable today we went there before just me and you we got the annual passes years ago and the kids were at school me and you sneaked there together didn't we yeah we did. just went there and there was no one there and it was raining and i'll tell you what if you've ever been on a roller coaster in the rain it hurts <laughs> Flipping yeah, hurts, I remember I did the smiler when we went to Alton Towers before and I come over I actually had a cut lip from the rain. Yeah. The rain hit me that hard. You've been propelled at fast speeds while rain's coming at you. Dangerous combo. Comment below, have you ever had a rain related injury on a roller coaster? That's very specific, Bob. <laughs> one comment's coming, I guarantee. Have you have you ever been on the big one at Blackpool? No. I went on there years ago when it was raining. Oh my god, that was painful. Really? I pulled my hood right over my head like this. And then I had like I was like that. And then I had a scarf and like I pulled it out. You just you could <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was over, I took an opportunity, I'm sorry. You're a naughty person. I'm sorry. Yeah, so that's what I did on that ride. <laughs> and it still hurt. Oh, I thought you were going, it still hurts today, to this day. So you're making a raw cheese in, and yeah, I'm going to put some potatoes on, and I can't take you seriously with that hood on, please. You're not on the ride anymore, grow up. No, I like, I like this hood. In fact, <laughs> no! <laughs> oh, God. Mm -hmm. Why, well, like... When you wear a hood, it kind of makes your head into a triangle, doesn't you it? You look like a bit of a wizard. Witch? Wizard? wizard? A witch? Yeah. Okay, let's stop fiddling with my hood. Oy! There right. we go. Let's waste some time with us. We're the hood, hood family. <laughs> Rebrand coming up. Someone said that the other day. They went, I swear you're changing your channel every day. Well, it's not that frequent. We've we changed it twice, it twice yeah. but we're not going to change it. In a period of six months. We're not going to change it again. No, we are family freedom. That is us. That has always been the plan. Unless and we change to the hood family. No. I'm <laughs> Comment below, should we be the Hood family? No, don't comment below. How are we getting on, mummy? It's been very noisy. Good. Ah, the courgette. Yeah, look at that. Take the whole tub out, pull the whole tub in there. Well, that will be enough for me. You're having a little bit now. Yeah, and you can have some later because you've not long eaten. Well, that's your place in the Midlands called Long Eaton, I think. Is there? Yeah, and there's a nun Eaton. Comment below if you're from an Eaton place. There's Eaton as well, isn't it, by Windsor? Windsor and Eaton, yeah. Here comes the cheese. Oh, it's not coming. <laughs> here doesn't come the cheese. Take two of here comes the cheese. Yummy. You can have that and then we're going to get going, are we? Yeah. For some haulage. Haulage? Yeah, food haulage. Oh, alright. What are you doing upside down? Just upside down. You're just chilling upside down, are you? Yeah. Just getting all my brain cells moving around. <laughs> 
Getting your brain cells moving around. Yeah. Are you ready to get dressed and go to the shops? Yes. We're in the car, finally. It's a very clear road. Good old bank holidays. Everyone hibernates. And here you're seeing something you've never seen before. Bob is wearing a coat. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder where that was going then. It was like your hand pointed at me. That could have ended a lot worse. You didn't have a coat, did you, for no. ages? The last time I bought a coat was literally 10 years ago. The one I've got is a fairly smart coat, so you can't just wear it casually. You have to wear it with jeans or trousers or something like that. So I always just doubled up on hoodies instead. But you don't like wearing coats much anyway, really, do you? No, and it's only getting warmer. But I felt it warranted yeah, a coat today. Yeah, it's quite chilly today. Oh, there we go on about the weather again. Yeah, when we were kids, this time of year, you to be so hot, didn't it? You April, warm. yeah. You'd be out in a t-shirt. Yeah. Things are changing. What are they doing to the weather? How are they making it change like this? Mm. Snow in March, for starters, and oh, oh, the face is about to come in. Ah, the eyes are bulging and everything. Katie has this face, and it's an epic, I'm gonna say it's an epic face. You know like when you think like, oh, goodness me, but you express it only in face. She does it, does it don't you? If we had a, a disagreement about something. And then I was found out to be wrong and you were right. Yeah, that's, I'd that's, be like. Is your what, yeah. <laughs> well, you've got the definition of the cheeks and the eyes. Yeah. Like, I can't live up I've to it. I've got one of those faces, like my face like literally transforms when I smile. When I'm not smiling, my resting face looks like I'm moody. And I don't know. No, it does, it does, it does. I've had so many people come up to me before and go, oh, smile, love. Why are you so miserable? That's their very weird chat up lines. And I'm like, I'm not, I'm just, this is my normal face. <laughs> so now I just try and smile all the time. You're a very smiley person. But yeah, because I've got such big cheeks, when I'm not smiling, it's like, and then I smile and they, ding. <laughs> They're just like massive. I love them. They're brilliant. I've got a big mouth They're as beautiful. well. Right, so we are heading to Lidl's. Lidl's is always our choice supermarket. Lidl's is good though. So what we're going to get today, we're going to go and get one very specific thing, which we haven't told Jojo yet. So Jojo, we're going to go to Lidl's, but there's one thing we're going to get lots and lots of, yeah? Now this is normally, when we get it, normally is a treat, but we're going to go and get lots of breakfast cereals. <laughs> Yeah, you can't pass out in the car, can you? Is that exciting? Yeah. Yeah, we're gonna do lots of fun ideas with them over the next day or two. What's your favorite ones that you like getting? Cocoa Pops. Cocoa Pops. Weetabix. Weetabix, cool. Choco Hoops. Choco Hoops. And so, also Rice Krispies. Rice Krispies too. Rice Snaps, I think they're called in Lidl's, aren't they? So we're gonna go and get lots and lots of different breakfast cereals. I don't know what this trolley is going to look like, Mummy. Yeah, I think people might think we're weird having a trolley full of breakfast cereal. You don't think about these things. You think, oh, yeah, that'd be a good idea. And then you think, no, we have to be seen doing this. Mm. Hang on, but most people think we're weird anyway. Yeah, true. So it's not a big deal. And the stuff we get up to in supermarkets, sometimes yeah, we don't help ourselves. We always <laughs> get told off in supermarkets. You'll be balancing Jojo on a trolley or we'll be filming, get told off for that. Or we'll just be just generally disruptive. Jamie got told off for wearing roller skates in a supermarket, just. It isn't just supermarkets, it's just in general we have fun wherever we go. Me and you, we'd go to shopping centres, do no shopping and just mess around, wouldn't we? Before we had Jojo. Yeah. Do you remember? Oh. We'd go like climbing on the maps, the, the like model maps, we'd go climbing all over them. Yeah. Oh, Ikea. Ikea is a great place to have a laugh. We're going to go to Ikea soon. Who wants us to vlog our Ikea adventures? Comment below. So you might think Ikea is a boring place and you might go, no, I don't want to see that vlog. But then us. you haven't seen us in Ikea. Yeah. We get told off more or less every time we go there. So it's a challenge now. What can we get told off for this time? Can you stop doing that please? It's kind of a pattern of my life. Whatever I do I get told off for. Yeah. Whether it's you, him, teachers, security guards, referees, mum, dad, strangers on the streets, other people who exist in my space. I can't win. Oh. Can what? I tell them what you did the other day? <laughs> what did I do? <laughs> At the hospital, we, ah. we took Jamie along to the hospital to um, give blood. There was a lady in that food area and I just heard Bob talking to her and it was like, you, like he knew her and I was thinking, what on earth is he talking about? I could hear her going, no, it's fine, it's fine, don't worry, don't worry. And then when we got out of there, I said, what were you talking to that lady about? And it turns out that you and another boy, when you were a kid, threw a stone at her window and broke her window. I was about 13 or 12 years old. I've got a really good memory with faces, and I just recognised her. And I, I know many years, like 20 odd years have gone by, 
but I looked at her name tag and I saw the last name, so I was like, okay, she is the mum of the girl I used to go to school with. And we used to walk past her house on the way home. Me and my mate one day thought it would be a good idea to throw a stone at her window and it smashed her window. I just ran away, she came out, she was furious, and I'm not gonna make excuses. You know, I think everyone has these moments when they're kids, when they do something like that, that they regret. Yeah. I've done, you know. Sam and Jamie didn't though, did they? Sam and Jamie didn't, but they were quite exceptionally good kids, really. But most kids do throw stones at some point, yeah. but not, I'm still not saying it was right. You were no, not no, it there. Wasn't you right. were naughty. For so doing don't, that. don't put your finger you down. You do not need you to tell me off. You shouldn't have done it. <laughs> Shut up. No, but the point is, the is point that is, I saw her, and when I realised it was definitely her. I made a choice. I thought, do you know what? This isn't going to feel right because I'm having to admit to something doing wrong. But at the same time, it felt liberating to actually say, look, it's been 20 odd years, but I'm really sorry I did that. And she was like, oh yeah, I remember that. That was you. I was like, yeah, I'm sorry. And she's like, oh, well, don't worry. It's, it's, it's fine now. You're brave to do that, I think. You're just like, it's lovely that you went over to her and apologized. Yeah. Because she might have been always thinking, oh, that little naughty boy doing that. You know, now she, she knows that... Yeah. You know. Do you know what as well because I like to have accountability for mistakes I've made in life and I, I like to feel that I've improved <laughs> since yeah. then. You're not like, Bob's not like that now. You no, no, no. You, you wouldn't hurt a fly nowadays. Literally. No, I thought that was really sweet of you to do that. Well, do you know what? It felt better for doing it. I feel like I've got skeletons in my closet or ghosts that need to be exercised. You've only done the sort of things that most kids do, you know. I did some naughty things. I broke a window when I was at school. Well, we need to find that woman and track her down. No, right. it was a school window. We need to take you back to your school and apologise to the headmaster. Anyway, so that was a really good thing you did. Well done. Right, we're finally at Lidl's. That was good timing. Yeah. To round that bit up. Breakfast cereal fest, here we come. Right, we are here. But wait a minute, I just need to ask, does this have to be exclusively breakfast cereal? Because there's like some fruit bits that we need. We need berries and things yeah, like that. Yeah, and not, I want some oranges. Yeah, we do need other things, but it has to be mostly breakfast cereal. Okay. <laughs> there we go. But that's not it. See, he, he, just he didn't have it. He didn't have the it. The face just comes out. It's coming out a bit too frequently now. It nowadays. comes out just frequently. Oh, yeah. It comes out for anything. You ready Jojo. to go, Jojo? Can I ask you a question yeah. first? Why are you so beautiful? Because I am. Because he is. <laughs> <laughs> Let's have a little bit of fun. Mummy, it's quite busy in here today. I know. I hope there's breakfast cereal left. We are definitely going to get told off today. <laughs> you look excited about that. You're making me push now so you can ride. I want to have a ride. Whoa. Oh, you started already. Security. Ooh. This is what I mean. Like, if we want any fruit and veg, we can't. We... Oh, 19p. You can't leave it there for that, can you? Shall not. I shall not. We have got that roast thing. Yeah. No. What's going I on? You, but Wait, you won't what? feel it. What? Bob. They have, like, a She's an easy peeler. <laughs> oh god, get me out of here now. Beam me up, Scotty, is what you normally say. So this is what I mean, fruit. This cereal, breakfast cereal hall is not looking good right now. Yes, I can't see a single breakfast cereal right. in there. Right, I do need berries. Right. Get berries and then we'll go there, okay? Okay. Blueberries, raspberries, strawberries. Yeah. Is it down here? Right, here we go. Told you they've got a lot here. Yeah. So you can get stuff like this, yeah? This is just like this section. What you got there, Jojo? I got some stuff. Ooh. I always think this is endorsed by Kung Fu Panda. Who told you? Did Tigress tell you? He's a happy boy. I've never been so calculated in shopping before. I'm literally just like, hmm. <laughs> Good work, strawberry crisp. This is exciting, Good. man. This is exciting, isn't it exciting? Yeah. <laughs> Oh, what's that one? It's a cereal cookie. Yeah, with a fox. Oh. He looks quite happy with the cereal. Yeah, he does. <laughs> looks very happy with his cereal. Um, this is a tropical granola. Mm. It's got like pineapple and stuff in there as well. Look. There we go, yes. What are those? Oh, like the Rice crispy kind of ones. Yeah, we're going to put this up across there. Yep, Frosted flakes. Get some cornflakes. Good old basic cornflakes, yeah, they can't get missed out really, can they? Look, he's, do, he's just like doing a puzzle in the back. Yeah, trying to find his way to the tree in the centre. Oh, like shreddy like ones. My god, this has really exposed the side of me, hasn't it? 
I thought this would just be, I'll just let him pick some things, but I'm, I feel like I'm taking the lead on this. <laughs> what have you got there, mummy? Multi-grain hoops. Multi-grains. We want all of those grains. Not any more in there. That, look, that's enough. Look how much we've got. Look, that's enough. What's the problem, Jojo? What's the problem? We're just running out of room. This is kind of almost like the wrong way around, isn't it? I know. <laughs> okay, look, one more, one more. Let's see how many more we can sneak in there without him knowing. What? Don't know what you're talking about, mate. Oh, Jojo, look at that down there. Look at that down there. Go down there, look, run down there. Get some, mum, go, 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 go. <laughs> oh, look, I know Look, we've run that out of wood. Come on, let's just go check out. Are we done, Mummy? Yep, I think so. Okay. Jojo, good job. Mmm. In my head, I'm planning like some medley in a bowl. How many could you fit in one bowl? A bit of everything. We've got bowls big enough for that. <laughs> we have, haven't we? How many have we got? We've got like 15 different ones as well. Mm. I wonder what people are going to think when they're scanning these through. It's like cereal. Cereal. I love a breakfast cereal. Like I said, they're going to think we're mad. Well, in that case, I'll distance myself from the cereal now. Just remembered I left something in the car. The frosted flakes are just about hanging in there. Right, all done. That's a lot of breakfast cereal, mummy. I know. And also, you were on the verge of getting told off again. Was I? Yeah, that woman, she called her supervisor over, the lady at the checkout. She went, they're filming. And he went, what, you? She went, no. And he went, well, that's fine. <laughs> I just love how much they're like, oh my God, oh my God. And then someone just goes, so? <laughs> yeah. Like, we're promoting Lidl's. Like, what's wrong with you? I was about to throw you out myself, filmer. <sighs> Dear. Stop filming innocent checkout people. I'll never put the flipping thing, unless they say they don't mind being filmed. Should we do a series of the secret life of Lidl's checkout ladies? <laughs> <laughs> so secret they don't even know they're being filmed. Now we'd never film anyone, we never ever film anyone. We're very conscious. If they're in the background, they're in the background, but might like, as long as you focus on your own family. Yeah, exactly. Like I said, unless they say they want to be filmed, because some people do, they're like, yeah, film us, that's fine. Yeah. If you're ever in a place where we are, like um, a festival or as we mentioned previously, like restaurants or other public places, supermarkets, if you're ever there and you see us filming, just go and jump in the background. That would be hilarious for me to find out later. You don't have to come and say hello. In fact, if you're too shy to say hello, that's what you have to do. There are pe there's, there's been times where people have jumped in the background and I've seen it on our videos where yeah. they've like started pulling funny faces and stuff in the background. Who does that sort of thing? Very childish indeed. I'll never do something like that. And then the good thing is, is someone in the comments like puts a timestamp and they point out what they were yeah. doing and it was the first we even knew of it. And sometimes as well, you just get people who were just looking in the background like, what the? I had it at the airport when I went to Austria, didn't I? There were so many people, I'd be walking along going, hello, I'm at an airport or whatever. And then there's people like, in the background, what's he talking about? Anyway, we've got quite a variety though of those breakfast cereals there, haven't we? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go home and see how much we've really got because I didn't make a count there, I lost track in the end. Let's build a tower with them. Or build a wall. You're not Donald Trump. My hair is much better. Oh, do you know what I'm excited about? What? The best thing about cereal is like, you get to cut out the boxes afterwards and make stuff. Yeah, and he really likes that. That's We've always enjoyed doing that, haven't we? Yeah. Like arts and craftsy stuff. Yeah, always recycle your boxes. We made a little space shuttle out of one before. Didn't fly though. How could you make one that doesn't fly? Anyway, before we actually get to any making anything, we have to actually get home and see what we've got. Get a move on, mummy. No point sitting at this red light. We need to get home and count our cereals. Let's go. Oh, I've just realized we need to sing a song. <laughs> what? Because people in the comments 
keep saying they like the singing, but the only That's thing you is, and Jamie. Yeah, but Jamie's not here. You've got to step in our place. <laughs> step in. Think it's like to sing then. No. Ed Sheeran. I can do the kind of rapping part of Ed Sheeran. All right, let's, uh, do you want to do a rapping part? Sing. No, 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 no. I need you, darling, come and set the tone. I don't know what her face is, but I can just imagine it. What about Blinded by Your Grace? I know that better. All right. It's only a bit of singing though, isn't it? I'm blinded by your grace. I'm blinded by your grace, by your grace. I'm blinded by your grace. I'm blinded by your Lord. I've been broken, although I'm not worthy. You fix me. Now I'm blinded by your grace. You came and saved me. Right, well, that's enough of that. Let's just get home now and hide under a mountain of cereals. So we have had a quick chat and we've decided we're gonna go into a breakfast cereal selling business. Isn't that right, yeah? No, <laughs> I'm kidding. So yeah, these are all the cereals. Look, 14 in total. Oh, you counted them. I did, yes. We were cheeking, we did get some other things as well. Yeah, like 19 people for carrots. He's normally the one that goes crazy for carrots and littles, isn't he? Yeah, you can't <laughs> leave them there for that. That's her saying in supermarkets. Jojo's snacking on a chocolate coin he got. Actually, big shout out, we were at our festival yesterday, I forgot to mention this, a Romsey Vegan Fair, and the guys there just absolutely looked after us. I was doing a talk there, but they fed us, they gave Jojo an Easter egg with these chocolate coins, and big love to those guys, thanks so much, they're doing good stuff there. But on to the cereals. We got a good variety, I think, Mummy, didn't we? Yeah. And I want to know what you're going to be up to. You said you've got ideas, but I want to know what you're going to be up to. You have to wait and see. We've got something really fun lined up for the next video. Yeah, I'd love to hear your comments below. What do you think we could be doing with all of these cereals rather than just having bowls of cereal? We're not just going to be eating bowls of cereal. Oh God, just the idea of that is just weird, yeah. I could actually eat cereal all day though. I did some of these. I was like, I oh, fancy a bowl of that now. Especially oh. this, look. Choco hoops. I wonder what's come through Panda. Really? They look yeah. nice, don't they? Choco hoop. It's like when I was a kid, we used to have a choice of like Weetabix or cornflakes. Yeah. I think it was like cornflakes if we were lucky. And then maybe Frosty came into it. Yeah, there wasn't much choice when we were young. Look what there is now, eh? But like kids get this sort of thing. Most kids get it every morning, don't they? Yeah, something like this. But I just get it every now and then. Well, yeah, because you like your porridge, don't you? But he, he was telling us off. He was like, why are we getting so much? We want to get other things. He was the one that wanted, he went and got grapes. He wanted the satsumas. He likes his fruit. He knows the healthy stuff. But this, lots of fun things are going to be done. So make sure you are tuning into the next video. And if you're new to this channel and you want to see what's happening and you want to be kept up to date about family vlogs and our adventures then we'd love it if you subscribed and joined the free game and if you're already subscribed hit the no notification bell so you're kept up to date on when we are uploading videos and we will see you guys in the next video hold on what shout out time ah! Ah! i swear you do this on purpose you wait until that moment is about to round up and you're like Ta -da! So yeah, shout outs for some of you lovely people who've requested them and almost missed out on them if it wasn't for Katie. So shout outs for the following people. Keaton Murray, Lily Rock, Lewis Bainbridge, Melissa Comerford, T.P. Peacock, Molly Lila, Brandis, who's all the way from Oklahoma. Wow. Abby Jane Riordan, Kia or Kaya Scott, 26, Kia Elwell, Mayesha Begum, Yasmin Breyer, Hair and Beauty Girl. And the last one Jojo's going to do. It is Lisa Martin. Yeah, Lisa Martin, she's our very good friend. We love Lisa. Hi, Big Lisa. love to you, Lisa. Thanks so much for your shout outs, guys. If any of you guys want to shout out, leave them in the comments below and we will do it whenever we can. If I haven't done them yet and you've requested them, we'll get them in the next video, don't worry. Thanks so much, guys. We'll see you in the next video. Peace out, bye. Bye. Whoa. Watch the cereals.